Or Cuban boxer, I think would be true to say. Eris Landi Alvarez up against Kazakhstan's Mohamed Sabir Bazabe Ulu in our first quota contest in the men's 63 and a half kilogram class. And there's good reason for their not being poor. You never see poor Cuban boxers, that's right, isn't it, John? No question about it. The standard, even to make it to the national team, the depth of competition. For decades, they've invested in it. It's a real source of pride for the Cuban people to have that boxing pedigree. But of course, Kazakhstan will be looking to upset the form and upset the apple cart here in this one. Yeah, I mean, Cuba, most successful nation in Olympic boxing history. Um, and, and Kazakhstan has had plenty of success in recent years as well. So two powerhouse nations going head to head. Alvarez here in the red. 3-2 split decision over Ukraine's Tokyo Olympian Yaroslav Kartsis yesterday. Beg your pardon, on Wednesday. He reached the quota bout in Busto Arsizio and went down to Bakador Uzmanov from Tajikistan. It's the first ring entrance we've seen there as well. Leaping over the ropes, yeah. Alvarez. Don't try that one at home. Well, <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be trying that one. Here is Bazabe Ulu. And in his last bout, 4-1 decision over Italy's Gianluigi Malanga. He's a former Asian, Euro Asian youth champion. And he went out in Busto Arsizio to Bulgaria's Radoslav Rozanov, with Rozanov going on to take a quota place. So they've been against good boxers. They've come close. But this is the opportunity to stamp that ticket to Paris. Start from Alvarez against Southpaw. <laughs> Look ahead, Sabir doing well to keep his head out of the way there because it is Landy trying to land the big shots straight away, putting a lot of weight behind these. Big shots from Alvarez, and they're hitting the target. So it might be a wardrobe adjustment here. I wonder what the referee has seen. The doctor, is there a cut already? Some running repairs, but... It looked to be above the eye, which is a dangerous place for the cut because obviously the blood flows into the eye. See if we can see that on the way. Just maybe just above the right eye. Look at Ed Sabir certainly smells blood, doesn't he? He's trying to come forward, but every time he does, power shots from Alvarez reining in. For the Kazakh fighter, that probably suits him getting into that closer distance. Here's a great shot right up the middle from Alvarez. Yeah, this is great boxing from the Cuban. It's that blood on the right side Definitely of is. the eye might not be in such a dangerous position. There's a good left from the Kazakhstani boxer. Yeah, it looks away from the eye, doesn't it, the cut? This looks away from it, the blood. But Alvarez now, having looked very comfortable early on, it's been tested. Oh, my goodness. I think you can see that. So we, we looked... Erislandi Alvarez, when he started it, he wouldn't look in the eye of his opponent. He was looking over his shoulder. And I wonder if, obviously, that's maybe a pre-existing cut. Right. And he's obviously thought, I'm going to come out hard and fast here in case I get stopped. It's only a summation, only a guess. But in doing so, could well be that the doctor has something important to say about the overall outcome of this fight. Oh, goodness me. I mean, when I saw it on, on the sort of wide shot, I just saw the blood on the right side, and yep. I thought it was, it's actually it's over the eye, yep. and it's 
and it looks a bad one. And I wonder how long Alvarez is going to be allowed to continue. And of course, and it's a target. Big time. Look, Ahmed Sabir is just going to throw caution to the wind. The only thing then is he leaves himself open to the big right hand. Alvarez swinging for the fences. And look at this, keeping his head out of the way. Good elusive movement. The blood flow seems to be stemmed a little. I think he realises he's on borrowed time, does Alvarez. a deep cut right along the eyebrow yep he's still cutting a fine figure in the center here good elusive movement to power shot certainly in the red corner good left from Hazak. look ahead sabir just rubbing the glove up along the cut there and why not if he can get away with a good body shot there from the man in blue well, what a first round for so many reasons. I mean, Alvarez has probably won the actual round, but how long can he keep going with that cut? Well, it's on the outside of the, the eyebrow. So when we saw that kind of mask of blood, it had obviously just been meshed into his face there by the punches, so it's maybe not going to impair his vision too much. Scores, though, will make good reading. Yet four judges giving it to Alvarez, one, two... Bazabe Ulu. some of those highlights there's a bit too much grease on that cut I'm, I'm surprised the referee hasn't asked that to be rude because there's a massive blob of grease there <laughs> referee going round to have a look of course the experienced Cuban putsman in the corner they'll know there's a little mix of adrenaline you can make and then also the Vaseline but there's a big adrenaline boosting shot there from Bazar Beolu the man in blue. Oh, that was a big left. And it's a standing eight count. Goodness me. Azabeolu shows the power he has. And real alarm for the Cuban camp now. And just see Pazabeolu <laughs> just trying to get near that cut, just trying to rub it a bit, aggravate it some more. Well, he's added insult to injury prior because that was a huge, thunderous shot there. More of a balanced shot than anything. Alvarez shook his head as if it didn't hurt him, but he was also shaking his knees a little bit as well. Good shot from Bazabeolu. All's fair and love in boxing. Both men getting stuck in here. Alvarez now has to dig deep, bite down, and come forward. Doing so leaves a space. Both men landing big shots. Alvarez almost to the point now forgetting about his cut. You know, he's just now swinging. He's just giving it all he's got. He can't try and protect it in any way because when you get in these exchanges, Azabayulu is going to be doing his best to make it flare up a bit more and mercifully I don't think that's going to be the decisive factor of this bout the boxing will resume because Bazabe Ulu fancying the task huge right hand there from Alvarez to the body Cuban corner getting really animated big body shot from Alvarez who's getting back on top well, when they ask how did you become an Olympian? How did you get there? This is the answer. You've got to go through this torrent of talent and this storm of punches. And a point deduction. This, this bout has had everything so far. 
Point deduction for Baza Bayulu. Baza Bayulu back of the head, the man in blue. Can he get back in business? Eyes cut, huge standing eight counts. Big shot there from Erislandi Lara. Well, we have seen enough incident and action in this contest for about four or five Olympics. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he's feeling it, isn't he? Yeah. Luckily for him, that cup hasn't opened up again by the looks of it. It's kind of, they have managed to stem the flow. Great work. You're going to need your abacuses, but as it stands, Alvarez up by three points on two cards and up by one point on the other two. So that. That, he's, in, he's in control then. Big he's up by three points on, up by two points on three cards. It's in, it's in his hands. It's in his hands, but he's also got Erislandi Alvarez in his head. His game plan's been thrown off. His momentum's been thrown off. It's a real slugfest now which is, you mentioned about the standard of Cuban boxing, not always known, not always want to, they want to show the stylistic movements and get out of it, but Bazar Ulu has dragged them deep into this. Just a little mention there, there's the, the end swell that the corner man has and the cutsman has, and they can cover that with a bit of adrenaline. There's a specific formula that they're, they're allowed to use, so that stemmed that flow of blood, which has allowed this fight, but not stemming the flow of the shots, Rory. Oh, this is a wonderful contest. So much incident and so many good shots landed. Alvarez is landing the majority of it, despite being the man who received the standing eight count in round two. Oh, big right again from Alvarez. Fairness to... Azabayulu, he's taken these shots really well. He's strong. He's strong at the weight, strong across the shoulders. He's got that powerful neck, so he's taking these shots. But he's not riding the shots. He's not using his gloves to parry them. He's just standing there trading. What an absolute brilliant bout of boxing we're having here. And as you say, very atypical of a, a Cuban boxer. We normally see the style, back foot, elegance. Slick. This is heart and, as you say, slugfest. Yeah, big time. The finesse has been set to the side. And it's the ferocity of the shots. Both men just, you would gather, trying to get a little breath here into the last major stanza now. Just 80 seconds left for Bazabai Ulu to find a big shot from somewhere. He's already hurt Alvarez. He looks like he wants to do it again. All of those interruptions run down the clock. shot from Alvarez scores he's having to dig deep but he is succeeding he's ahead on the scorecards just needs to stand up really for these last 40 seconds Azerbe Ulu just dropping that huge left hand down the pipe there does another one these are all leg stiffening shots big swing there from Alvarez hanging on in there the Olympic Games Beginning to come into focus. They're both going to need a lie down after this. I think we might need a lie down after this as well. What a contest. Action packed, incident packed. They're both slugging away inside the last 10 seconds. They're both wanting more, but the roar is from the Cuban. And he thinks he's done enough. Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> boxing. Bazar Bay Ulu, and regardless, obviously, as you say, the box off potential for whoever is vanquished in this, but to the victor goes the spoils. It's not just a quota place, it's a boarding pass to Paris. And Alvarez, well, he was cut, he was bruised and bloodied, but what a performance from both men. Enjoy that, Rory. Oh, yeah. And you can see the respect between the two as they assemble. 
in the middle of the ring and wait for the verdict. He came up just short in Busto Arcizio. He has made it this time. Eris Landi Alvarez successful in Bangkok. A fifth Olympic quota at Paris 2024 for the Cuban team. And he takes his bow in the middle of the ring and well-deserved in the end, John. Absolutely right, Rory. A cut eye on the way in, but he cuts a fine figure on the way out. Absolutely excellent performance. He was brave, he was composed, he went against his nature. He didn't want to have to do the, the fancy footwork and the finesse that we know that Cuba is famed for. He bit down in the gum shield. And if you ever want to know what it takes to make it to an Olympic Games, that's it there. Real blood and guts display from Eris Landy Alvarez. He will be going to Paris, all being well. And as discussed before, once you win the quotas place, that's it. There's no semi-finals, finals for most of these weight classes. And you can see the pride shown by Alvarez. He's really had to dig deep, but he's got it done. 3-0 to the Cuban. And he's also got 57 days to let that eye heal. So that should be just about the right timeline for him to be OK. It didn't look too deep. It seemed to be 